What was your interesting fact that I don't know about the industry issues? Sure, so my question is, when will more people in the US receive advice, financial advice, from a digital platform than from a traditional platform? My, my view on it is that it's 2022. Ah! <laughs> Such a wizard. <laughs> 2022. 22. And, and why just is that? quickly, here's how I get there. Four numbers. When you look at the, take the top 10 traditional providers and the top 10 digital providers, and looking only at the investment advisory business, so the fiduciary accounts, and if you look at the average account size for the traditional providers, it's about $350,000. When you look at the digital providers, it's still under $10,000. So not a big surprise there. I think everyone knows that's kind of the, the current state of play. But what's more interesting is when you look at the average number of advisory accounts at the traditional providers, it's about a million accounts versus 350,000 already with the top 10 digital providers. So my view is the velocity with which these relationships are being created um, by these digital platforms is really going to change the landscape here in the, in the very near future. And this, this is people are looking at the asset base, which tends to be a much slower conversion, but the pace of change as these relationships are formed is, is happening you know, on a real-time basis. And that's the pace, right.